In this video, we are going to show you how to set up the hydrophonic system by yourself at home. The material for this setup costed less than 5000 rupees. You can find the cost breakup at the end of the video. What you see here is a 4 inch PVC pipe. I have cut it to the size of my balcony wall. Now we need to mark the measurements for the holes which hold the net pots. Leave around 4 inches on either end of the pipe. This is for the end caps and the inlet outlet pipes. Mark the net pot holes depending on the length of the pipe. We have marked 5 points. According to our measurements, we have 4 inch between each net pot after drilling. Here we are marking the holes with the driller. After this, we will be using the 3 inch bit to make the net pot holes. Use the marking holes as a guide to drill the net pot holes. Sand the drill surface. Fix the end caps using the PVC glue. Drill the inlet and outlet holes with a 16mm bit. Make sure you mark the inlet and outlet uh, correctly. Inlet will be on the top and the outlet will be on the bottom of the other end. Since we wanted to give the pipes a wooden finish, I used a grid 36 sandpaper to sand the pipes. This gives a wooden finish. Later I painted with brown paint. This is a Mahindra Bolero suspension bush which has a 15mm inner hole diameter. This will let me change the water level by moving the outlet pipe up and down. This is how we converted the suspension bush to a washer. You can also fix the pipes directly without the washer if you don't want to adjust the water level. You can make two washers out of one bush, cut it right in the middle. Trim one side of the bush to fit the outlet hole. To fix the washer to the outlet hole, use M seal or any multipurpose sealant. I fix the 7 feet long reapers to the wall and then measured the inlet to outlet down slope to fix the clamps. We need the slope to avoid water stagnation. This is a water reservoir, it's a 35 litre can which I have cut open from the top. 
uh, so that I can fix the submersible pump inside. We have this flexible pipe connected to the, the submersible pump and from there a 15mm uh, CPVC pipe all the way up above the first pipe and then from there I have put a flexible pipe into the PVC 4 inch pipe. So water flows all the way down, this is tilted to the other side so water flows all the way down and from there from the 15 mm pipe comes to the second pipe and goes back all the way down here and from this 15 mm pipe goes to the next one so same way zigzag all the way down and from there again a 15 mm pipe which is connected to a flexible pipe to the reservoir so this is the cycle it keeps flowing all day 